Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Autumn Becomes Me. My name is Heather Autumn and today we're not in my kitchen, we are in my studio. As you can tell by the paint swatches behind me. Uh, I really enjoy doing art, I do a lot of painting and uh, a lot of pictures that I've just created. They are sometimes on sale uh, in my shops but that's still kind of new to me. I haven't found a printer that I like so we'll see. There may or may not be more prints, we'll see. <laughs> but today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to take an ordinary spoon, wooden spoon just like this, and making it into something like this, which is amazing. There we are. <laughs> and uh, I've been doing this style called wood burning for a while. So, as I've said, I grew up with artists, my parents were both artists. I learned to draw at a really young age, and I wanted to become an artist, and they said no. And so I became an artist anyway, which is usually how most artists go. <laughs> it's like the way of the artist. Your parents always tell you no, and people always say you're gonna be poor, but you become one anyway, and then you become whatever you make yourself to be. <laughs> so I've been doing pretty good, I've been happy. But uh, so what I'm gonna do is just show you how to make the skull, because not everyone knows how to draw a skull. So I'm going to walk you through the process, I'll show you every single step of the way, and you can just copy and do what I do, or you can go and just buy it from my shop. So if you're like, no, really, I can't draw out a paper bag, and I don't have the time, or I'm too busy, or but I really like that spoon, that's fine. Um, I'm going to pretty much be posting these on my Instagram, and I'm going to be having them in my store. I don't know what I'm going to be charging for them yet. As I've said too, I think in the beginning, this is part of my blog, which is autumnbecomes.me. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe there. I also do frequent giveaways. So yeah, it'll be good. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what we need to do the skull. First, you're gonna need just a regular wooden spoon. Um, I actually linked to the big bulk set that I got uh, in Amazon. I'm gonna put that there. The next thing you'll need is just a regular old pencil, just like that. I have this like somewhat mechanical one that, yeah, pencil, an eraser, because we all make mistakes in life, and these are fortunately ones we can fix. <laughs> so, all right, and please excuse the way that this drawing table looks, uh, I am an artist, which means that things get messy, and uh, this is the place to make messes, so. <laughs> All right, so, we're gonna start off with drawing our skull. That's gonna require us to make just a simple circle, just like that. And again, remember, if your circle doesn't look nice, or you have to erase it and try again, that's okay. I've been doing this for for years drawing, so don't worry about it. There's my circle. Now what you're gonna do is, oh, if you were to divide this into four segments, so about a quarter of the way up, you're gonna draw a line. That's gonna show you where to put your jawbone. So a jawbone is basically just a little U on its side, maybe poorly drawn U <laughs> on its side. There, and there, like that. Then you're gonna draw those down. You bring it in just a little, because this is gonna be your, your upper jaw. So just like that. And then you're gonna connect them. Just like that. So, that's where your teeth are gonna go. I like to kind of mark where the center is. From here, I'm gonna mark where I want my chin to be. So that's where the chin will be. From there, you're gonna draw one line down to about there. Same thing here, about there, just like that. Ooh, that was actually a really steep line. We'll just erase that. This is all just sketching, so remember, you know, it doesn't have to be 
perfect. There we are. And then we're going to connect it to that dot, and maybe I'm going to actually move that dot a little lower. There we go. And about there too. Not too shabby. So then we're going to do another line, and this is going to kind of separate the upper jaw from the lower. So if you can see, I did a bit of a U shape there. It came down, flat, and then up again. Um, of course, you, you're going to want to smooth these out because there aren't any really, there's no right angles in nature. <laughs> so just kind of keep that in mind. I'm just trying to show you just basic lines. There we go. So you're going to actually more, you're going to want to round it more like this. See how it's more rounded? And that's more angular. So maybe we'll just erase that. That's actually bothering me. <laughs> Go correct that line, and we're just gonna swoop that down a little. There, so see how it's much more natural looking. All right, then we're gonna extend that middle line down. We're gonna add in some teeth. So teeth are gonna be rounded at the top, flat at the bottom. I like to kind of add like four in the front. So one, two three and then four. And then on the bottom, these are gonna be smaller. So just try to, I do like three there. One, two, three. Cause I also came in a little on either side and you're gonna wanna color that area black because when you do your wood burning, you're not gonna wanna forget that that area is black. So something like that, not too bad. Also, his nose is start or his uh, chin's looking a little anime-ish. <laughs> so I'm gonna maybe erase it and just round it up a little. There we go. Looking a little more natural. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our nose holes, and those are going to look like teardrops, but right next to each other. So you're gonna kind of figure out where you'd want his nose to be. Usually right under that, that quarter line that we did before, right here. So we're just gonna do a teardrop that's slanted, just like that. And then we're gonna do another one pretty much right next to it, just like that. And they don't have to be exact. Um, I actually heard this for eyebrow makeup, but I found that it actually works for drawing too, which is you want them to be siblings, not twins. So, you know, there's you don't want it to be so perfect and exact that it looks unnatural because typically you won't find perfect replicas usually in nature. You know, things have little um, deviations from their neighbor. So they might come from the same family, but they're different, <laughs> if that makes any sense. There we go. Eye holes are a bit different. I kind of, I mean, a, a skull doesn't have um, eyebrows, obviously. So I tend to use, I try to use the upper part of the eye socket and maybe shape that differently. So if I wanted him to be angry, for example, it might come down more and then come around like that. So now it has this, you know, kind of heavy brow thing going on. Um, but if I want him to be surprised, you know, you just round that out and he's going to have these giant like, wow, kind of eyes, which actually for this might be better. So we're just going to, they don't have to be perfect circles either. So there's one eye and just darken that. That's the outside of our skull. And we're going to do this side. So here we go like that. You can make it a little bigger. There you go. And then I like to darken the areas I'm going to definitely be keeping. So top of the skull and the outside. Just like that. So now you have a basic skull shape. 
Now if you want to leave it just like that, that's up to you. That's That would be a pretty wood burning all by itself. So I'm just going to move all my eye sockets over. There we go. There. And I'm going to move this jaw over. This is like the part where you get to kind of, you know, fix the little bits and bobbles that you may not necessarily like, but it's still for the most part pretty, pretty finished. There we go. That looks good. All right. So from here, um, you can start decorating. Um, there's all kinds of ways. I'm just going to doodle and sketch and uh, see what I come up with. And um, I'm going to use my GoPro for that. But if you look up sugar skulls on YouTube, um, or on, goodness, Google, Pinterest, Instagram. There's tons of fantastic ideas. And uh, I would suggest kind of borrowing from each. Don't, don't take any one design, make it your own. But yeah, you can borrow with it. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep recording and uh, sketch out what I want and I'll check back with you when I'm about to start wood burning. Okay, so now that we have our sketch all burnt, or rather all sketched out and ready to go, uh, let me tell you about the wood burning kit that I got. I got this off of Amazon, and if you go to my blog, autumnbecomes.me, I'll link it. So this is the basic bit. Um, this part is removable. Just pops off like that. This is the uh, little styluses that you would change. This one's kind of for a big area. And uh, you just pop that into this little thing and then put that over. Tighten it up. And it's ready to go. You just plug it in. So the other thing you're going to want is this also comes with several different bits, so you can see that one on the end I've used already. Um, but it's it's got a lot of good styles going on here. I like it. So um, I actually it came with some wooden things that I, you can practice on, and this was my first attempt at wood burning, so I knew it was kind of a no-brainer for me to choose this. <laughs> so I usually I keep my erasers in there. It has extra stylus holders if you need it. This part is pretty essential. This is how you're going to hold your stylus while it's hot. So you're going to put that down. This is usually, you know, you put some water on it and that way you can kind of cool it off a little and you're going to want to put it like that. So that way it won't burn anything. It won't melt anything. Obviously if I put it down on here, it's going to burn through it. <laughs> so there's that. Came with a little pencil sharpener for sketches. It also had some little wood bits, like what I, I said before, this is where this came from. So you can practice before you really get into it. Came with uh, carbon paper, 
so that you can go and do a sketch um, on regular paper and then transfer it to whatever you're going to be burning with. And instructions, which is nice. This is more wood burning tips and soldering. Um, so if you also do computers or any kind of electrical thing and you solder, this will be handy. This doubles as a soldering iron, so that's cool. It came with some uh, colored pencils, which I guess is to enhance your art if you wish. Um, I mean, it's cool. I, I could see if you had children that that would be like their job. Like you, you do all the hot burning of things and then your kids get to color it, I guess. Um, but these are just regular colored pencils. Uh, they're not really like, they're just colored pencils. They're not anything special. And then this also came with some uh, different kinds of stencils you can use. So you can see there. And it's nice. Um, again, I can see this where you maybe sit your kid down with something and tell them to sketch what they want it to look like and then you would burn it and then they color it or I don't know just don't let them do the wood burning part that sounds so dangerous but yeah so I mean for for what it was for what this is it came with a lot of stuff um, which I appreciated I liked so I, I would recommend it um, it's better to have things that you're not going to use I guess rather than having to find out, oh yeah, I actually really wanted stencils with this, um, I'm not good at freehanding, or man, now I have to go out and buy colored pencils for some reason. <laughs> and uh, so this way, you know, it, it just comes with everything, packs up really nice. And uh, so for our purposes today though, I'm going to start with this kind of oval shaped beveled thing. Let me see if I can help you see it better. There we go. Kind of has this like flattened rounded tip. And I like using this when I am working with you know, big spaces. So we're going to start actually with the handle part, um, which has a lot of like what we call white space in art. Um, and that's just areas that, you know, don't have anything going on in them. So let me readjust there. So I'm going to start off with that. Um, this has a way, it's a temperature gauge. I usually just turn it all the way up to 450, uh, 450 Celsius, degrees Celsius. So it gets hot. I mean, <laughs> I don't know the conversion. Um, I, I usually deal with Fahrenheit, but it, it gets incredibly hot. And actually this part, this rubber tar uh, part here will get really hot. So please watch your hands. If they start to slip like down here, you're gonna feel it and it's gonna it's gonna be not pleasant. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna start the wood burning process. And uh, with that, I'm gonna go with my GoPro and go from there.
Hey everyone, and we're back. So hopefully you ended up with this really awesome looking spoon. If I can get it in the shot, there we go. <laughs> and uh, it was a lot of fun to make. So if you would like step-by-step -step instructions on how to draw a skull all by you know itself and then decorate it, please head to my blog, which is autumnbecomes.me and I will have instructions up there step by steps, like here's how to draw the circle, here's the next step, and then I will also be linking what kind of spoons I used, uh, what kind of wood burning kit, burning kit I have, and uh, just what I used to make this possible. Also, if you sign up for my mailing list, you're automatically entered to win free stuff. I usually do a giveaway at least once a month, sometimes more. And then I also um, will do shout outs to people who like buy me a coffee, uh, which is like a $5 donation towards the website. And uh, it's just a, it's a really good community. You can also uh, find my social medias on there and everything. So please like, subscribe, tell your friends. This is a new uh, YouTube channel, really, for the most part. It's been around a little bit, but I've really started taking uh, making YouTube videos seriously. <laughs> so. Just um, let people know that I exist, if you don't mind, if you like this. And uh, other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope this post inspired you to try something new. And if it didn't, and you just want to buy a spoon, you can also head to my store, which is also on autumnbecomes.me. So thanks for hanging out in my office, in my studio, and uh, hopefully we'll do more videos like this in the future. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Bye.